teeth you have. Oh, what a wimp that girl was. <laughs> Yuck, what is that? Tea, I could use a cup. <laughs> oh, this souvenir scrapbook is full of sniveling wimps. Ah, someone decent at last. What a man, Captain Hook. Always ready with a helping hand. <laughs> Look what a fabulous witcherly character your auntie was then. Yes, she certainly was on fire. To think I'm now here in this miserable real world. The witches were burned at the stake a mere 400 years ago. Well, look at the bright side. Here on Earth, we turn them into TV show heroines. <laughs> me to remember all those buttons. <laughs> Your wand! Watch out! <laughs> oh dear, I conjured up Jack's beanstalk. Get him out of here! Fast! The neighbors will see him! How nice to see you, Mr. Giant! Pass on my greetings to darling Olga! Uh, a meteorite! Pulverized into a million pieces on landing! Mommy! Tom, can you tell us how Napoleon's career began? Um, Napoleon? Oh, me, 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 me. Didn't he uh, stow away on a ship and become the greatest pirate ever? <laughs> <laughs> Maureen? His first real opportunity came as captain of artillery at the Siege of Toulon, where he held back the British under ferocious fire. <laughs> can make us laugh, Tom. But if you want to make it through to the next semester, I suggest you do some very serious work on your Napoleon report. <sighs> Napoleon lost the Battle of Waterpole. Oh, no. Waterloo. <sighs> How can I ever remember such complicated names? Why not just cheat instead of overtaxing your brain like a swat? What are you trying to do? Make me ashamed of you? Ferocia? How could you suggest such a thing? Tom will succeed in life thanks to hard work and a marvelous attitude. Oh, yeah? Who asked for your opinion, big fella? <laughs> Can you guys go and fight somewhere else? If I get a bad mark on this, my class average will be worse than Waterloo. You're still on the internet? I'm supposed to be online in 10 minutes with my girlfriends. You are so lucky to be an only child. Blah, 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 blah. Tom, I've been waiting for ages. We were supposed to be badminton, remember? Listen, I don't have time for this. If I don't get this project done, I am in big trouble. Why will you be in trouble, Tommy? Because I can't do any of this real-world school stuff. I'm useless. I'm the worst in the class. I don't believe that for a minute, darling. You're so clever. Oh, look at you moving all those things around by magic. It's not magic, Mom. It's technology. See, this is how you copy a document into the hard disk, into the computer's brain. Put it that way. That fast? <gasps> That's amazing. Hmm. Well then. Oh, oh, nothing, sweetie. We're having fish for dinner. Excellent for your memory. Wait and see. <laughs>
allow me to add that on the day of his crowning, Napoleon I was escorted by 25 carriages, 152 horses, and two Pekingese dogs, a personal gift from the Emperor of China. The Ganges, of course, flowing into the sea at the Bay of Bengal. Oh, such knowledge of the Far East. Well, strictly speaking, Miss Tinker, India isn't in the Far East. It would be regarded as the Indian subcontinent. That was incredible. That's all I can say. Well, I did study really hard, and I ate fish yesterday. That must be it. Check to your king. You're not gonna let that pipsqueak beat you. Same mistake as Caspar Choi during the World Championships in 1962. Look, our champion's getting ripped by a seventh grader. <laughs> Checkmate. <laughs> Tom, come and see me after class. We need to talk. Miss Tinker thinks I'm highly gifted because of my incredible memory. She wants an urgent meeting with you and Dad. She even wants to put me in a special school. That's marvelous, darling. Just what you deserve. It doesn't surprise me in the slightest. It doesn't? Imposter! It was you, Mom, wasn't it? Oh, no! Do you know what you've done? I'm so pleased, darling, that you like your little gift. Well, son, how did your report go? Uh, well, let's just say that, that, um... Top of the class. Do you realize what that means? He's the champion. He stole the show. Well done, kiddo. See? Hard work pays. Oh, you've made your dad very proud indeed. You didn't cheat, did you? No. Um, well, not... Really? Mom? Oh, come, come, Gregor. What will you dream up next? But he's my little boy. What's wrong with giving him little treats now and then? Our son cannot go through life cheating, and this is cheating. Well, technically, if I already know all this stuff, then I'll never need to really cheat again. He has a point, darling. Willow. Oh, all right. Except for those syntax chapters. He had such problems with grammar, I... Oh. Okay, okay. You can be such a stickler for rules sometimes. Now, close your eyes and relax. What's wrong, my darling dragonfly? <laughs> oh my, why are we in the Three Bears' house? Is Goldilocks here too? Why are you dressed up so fancy? Ah, uh, why do you always get us in these situations? But how could this be our house? Where are my mat wing curtains and flying cups my mother gave us for our wedding? They flew back to Fairyland. Didn't like the weather? Okay, I get it. Grandma Ogre is coming and we have to hide in case she gets Mama, hungry and... I'm telling you, we are in the real world. R-E-A-L, real. This is where we live now. That's enough silly talk about the real world, Tom. We all know the real world only exists hmm. in children's bedtime stories. Mom, remember? We had to leave Fairyland because of the you're a fairy and dad's an ogre and fairies and ogres aren't supposed to marry business. That's ridiculous, Tom. Are you saying I wouldn't have remembered something like that? Uh, uh yes. yes. Oh, I know what's happened. Merlin created this elaborate illusion. He's really gone too far this time. Great, so when does the nightmare end? 
I'm going to pop over to Merlin and tell him we figured out his little joke. Oh, oh my silver wing dragonfly. In the real world, you cannot go through walls. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. If anyone sees your mom like this, the whole town will know where we come from. And what I do. What's that talking to, sir? How many times do I have to say it? It's a legend. I never hate children. There's no way we're letting her out. Oh, look. What an unusual door. Mom, come back. Willow, my darling, you don't know what you're doing. And I thought I was the excitable one. Oh dear, I forgot my wand. <laughs> the wand! Quick, grab it before Mom gets it! Sidewalk, did you? Oh, how sweet. You know, I'm just a commoner fairy, really. But I'll be happy to cast a spell for you if you wish. <laughs> yeah, cast a spell. Why don't you cast yourself out of my way so I can get by and get home to my wife? Take the bell. <laughs> Tinkerbell's husband? Oh, uh, tell her I said hello and congratulations on the wedding! <laughs> Children on wheels, carriages without horses. What a very odd tale this is. With a memory like Tom's, it's urgent to test his IQ. Oh, of course, of course, his IQ. <laughs> Seeing that Tom knows so much about so many things, I suppose he comes from a highly cultivated family. What, in fact, do you do for a living, if you don't mind me asking? Huh? Before we moved, uh, Dad was in the uh, restaurant business. Like that, could I? Leave who? The dwarves. That wicked witch must have changed them into stone, the poor things. Mom, those are garden gnomes. They're statues, that's all. Oh, are they? Oh dear, I was always so bad at faces. <laughs> then, do you mean she's not a witch? Next time, I'll sit Brutus on you! You sure she's not a witch? Tom needs special schooling to suit his extraordinary capacities. It would be a crime to waste talent like that. Can you and your wife join me at the school tomorrow? I'd like you to both meet the principal. Uh, tomorrow will be a problem. Mom has swimming classes at the pool. Dad, are you coming? We're gonna be late. Goodbye, Miss Tinker. Oh. Changed around. I, I couldn't find Merlin's house anywhere, and I don't get it. Why can't I fly here? <laughs> well, what do you know? So, really, you mean it? This is where I live? Oh, then I ought to answer the door, right? Yes, I'm coming! Mom, no! Hello, ma'am. Your husband forgot his keys at the coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> My Gregor is always collecting the strangest things. <laughs> but please, come inside for a cup of tea. 
How extraordinary. You look so like our cousin Tinkerbell. I must introduce you to her one day. Do I work? Oh, what a question. But you see, I'm a fairy. Good mom, yes, a very, very good mom. Yes, indeed. Mom even did all the decoration here in the house. How lovely to have Tom's teacher to tea. What subjects do you teach? Spells, shrinking, vanishing? <laughs> oh, good old mom. Always ready with the joke. She really is the family clown. And uh, your husband is in the restaurant business? Is he really? Gregor, you didn't tell me that. Let me introduce you to my teacher. Oh, you're the person responsible for teaching the little boys and girls to be good. Well, yes, I... Revolting. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, that was a great success. Well done, everyone. You know, you needn't be afraid of me. I swear, I've never eaten anyone in my life. Miss Tinker, you'll be fine. Why don't you just have a rest while we go downstairs for a minute? His Highness here will look after you. Hello, my dear lady. What a pleasure it is to be given the honor to pass a little time in your company. Would it be entirely inappropriate to ask for a kiss? <laughs> Another one with a headache. This is the absolute worst possible, possible worst thing that could ever happen. That's my teacher. What does she think of me now? Oh, Tom, I'm sure she still thinks you're a very decent, kind, honorable young man. With an ogre as a dad. So, yes, well, that was uh, an unfortunate slip of the tongue. I'll go upstairs and help Mom with her memory. And you have to keep Miss Tinker here until we can sort out this mess. And try not to make any more slips of the tongue. Absolutely. You can count on me, son. Yes, you do. That's the day Dad emptied the entire pool when he dove in. You remember? Uh, no. What's a swimming pool? <gasps> now wait, I think I remember this. Let's see. Oh, that's the Enchanted Cave in Disneyland. You know, even before I turned vegetarian, I never really ate that much raw meat. I know I had the mega steak tartare special ones, but, but it was just because I had missed my breakfast, and they were out of salads, and I was so hungry. Oh, I'm not boring you, rattling on, am I? Oh, good. I feel so much better just talking to you. You're so... Oh, how can I put it? So... human. Oh. If we follow computer logic, her memory can't be wiped out for good because Mom didn't finish the spell. <gasps> what if her memory is in the... Forget it, Sherlock. I've already been there. Doesn't that sound like Puss in Boots purring? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Look! <laughs> Now, how did that happen? Have you been playing with my magic wand again, Tom? I get it. Mom's memory was put into sleep mode. That's why she can't remember anything. So what do we do now? Mom, why don't you try to wake up your reflection? What a lovely idea. We could ask me to tea. <laughs> Oh, yes. Have you thought this over, Tom? You really want me to remove those syntax chapters from your brain? Yay! <laughs> do we know each other? Of course we do, since you're me. Would you like to come to tea? How charming. I'd simply love to. <laughs> The funniest thing happened when I turned 304. I was coming out of the Black Forest, and I turned around. Well, he looked... <gasps> no! <laughs> it's okay, Miss Tinker. Everything... 
everything is fine. It's all just been a bad dream. Really? But he only has the history book and P2Z of the encyclopedia in his brain. Dad, can't I at least keep the history book, please? It's so hard to remember all those crazy names. Sorry, son. Just going to have to learn it the hard way. Willow? Oh, stand over by Miss Tinker, darling. I'll do you both together. There we go. I've just deleted Miss Tinker's memories from the time of your class presentation, Tom. And all your books are gone, I'm afraid. <sighs> But you're still the smartest little guy I know. Who knows the name of the person who discovered America? Tom, give it a go at least. Me, me, me. Yeah. Was it Elvis Presley? No, no, Mozart. No, wait, 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 I have it. Willy Wonka? <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't get a zero on the essay we have to write now. What essay? Why waste your time? It's not as if you're gonna have a clue anyway. <laughs> don't tell me you forgot. It's about the fairy tale tradition. <sighs> Ooh, we were out of pumpkin. Just a second. Why, Officer Donnelly, what a lovely surprise. Ferocia, it's for you. I'm looking for the person responsible for this abomination. Smallish, chubby, toady mouth, butterfly wing hairdo. Does that ring a bell? Do you know what my toady mouth has to say about that? Don't make things worse for yourself, Ferocia. That paint on your hand makes your guilt obvious. Oh no, officer! Uh, Auntie was just helping me dye some old fabric black to make me a Zorro cape! And she doesn't really have a toady mouth. <laughs> See? Totally different! <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'm going to believe you this time. Lying is second nature to that kid. He could be so evil if he wanted to. Plus the square root of 64, which gives us a grand total of 731. Any questions, Tom? <gasps> Uh, no questions, Miss Tinker. It's perfectly clear. <laughs> you haven't listened to a word I said, Tom. Can you tell me the square root of 159? Uh, if x equals 15 times 9, then, uh, oh, that's not it. <laughs> Hey, Squirt! Did you throw this ball? Oh, no! Uh, it belongs to those guys over there! Uh, definitely. I recognize it. You'd better go see the doctor. I think you're having a serious allergic reaction to pollen. Like my new hat. Uh, it's uh, magnificent. <laughs> it's the pollen. Allergic to lies? Oh yes, that could be, especially at your rate of lying. Such a promising kid. Oh, what a waste. 
It had better not be contagious. <coughs> Sorry, your hideousness didn't realize that was your scalp. <laughs> to other people's lies. Do something, Mom. Oh, you know I'm no good with medicine. Remember what happened when I tried to cure your father's stiff neck? Daddy Kins, huh? can I go to the movies with Stan? I've done all my homework. Permission <laughs> refused. That'll teach you not to lie to your father. <laughs> Can't you just catch measles like other measly kids your age? Oh, what's going to happen to me? No real world medicine can cure this. Why don't we contact G? He can bring us a fairyland remedy. That's an excellent idea. Let me get a message to him right now. Fly away, little bird. Just use the phone. <laughs> Uncle G, at last! <sighs> Sorry I'm late. Flying was fast till we hit the carpet jam. Then traffic was real heavy at the real world border. Got the remedy? Nope, but I have the way of making it. Here's an alchemist buddy's almanac along with all his stuff. Yeah, cuz, <gasps> you should be able to wangle it with this. Alembics, chronic alligatorism, allergies. Allergies to glass slippers, to grandmothers. Ah, here we are, allergy to lies. Oh, let's see how I'm gonna... Oh. Uh, is it bad? Well, no. You know what these medical books are like. Always describe the extreme cases. <laughs> Let's see your tongue. Ah. Uh... Oh, it isn't forked yet. That's a good sign. <laughs> Sweetheart, you have nothing to worry about. With this magic book, alchemy is child's play. Look at the great little vaccination I've prepared for you. You're going to love this. <sighs> okay, let me test this out. Ferocia deserves a medal for good citizenship. No reaction. Well, that looks like it was successful. <sighs> oh, sorry. I didn't read about the side effects. <sighs> oh, great. Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse. <sighs> Troubles, Tom. I made this up by myself. <laughs> What's wrong? Don't you trust me? Uh, yes, of course I do. <gasps> to be perfectly frank, I do have a few doubts. <laughs> there, it's already over. Go on, don't be afraid. Tell us a big fat lie. I'd rather go to the movies than clean my room. <laughs> Hang on, I, I meant to say the opposite. That's how clever this is, sweetheart. Thanks to the serum, you'll never be able to tell a lie. <laughs> no more lies, no more allergy. Isn't that a clever idea? <laughs> but my darling dragonfly, what will happen to us if Tom can't lie? I don't know what you have against the truth. It's fresh and it makes for a nice change, doesn't it? To be frank, I'm not certain this excessive honesty is the best way for us to remain anonymous. A family of monsters are among us. The freaks have landed. His father is an ogre. Exclusive pictures. The witch spills the beans.
Why not use a guinea pig to try out your antidote? Less of a risk. A guinea pig? For an allergy to lies? But those animals don't talk, do they? Oh, and they shed hair everywhere. <laughs> Problem. I inoculate you with Tom's allergy, find the vaccination, and that's all there is to it. One more word and I'm calling the SPCA. Come on, Your Highness. You're the only one who will never be questioned, so you won't have to lie. Mm hmm? Your family's worth a little sacrifice, isn't it? No. Okay, whatever you want, Your Highness. But if I happen to mention, despite myself, of course, that a talking toad lives with us, real-world scientists are going to be very interested. <laughs> well, we could talk about it. So we agree. Full princely privileges for an entire month, as much royal jelly as I like, and sole use of the armchair facing the TV. Uh, so, what do you want me to do? Sign a contract? No need. Your state of health encourages me to take you at your word. <laughs> well, Your Highness, first, let's take your temperature. Huh? I knew it! And you denied it all these years! <gasps> what about that garlic clove in my sandwich just before my first date with Charles? That was you, wasn't it? <laughs> So, how's your yucky illness? All gone now? Almost. Mom's been working hard. Great. I was so scared you'd get into trouble because of that <sighs> stupid allergy. What were you doing outside, Aunt Ferocia? Oh, just expressing my artistic nature. See, it's normal. It says right here under possible side effects. Slight gas. <laughs> Hmm. Mom, did you find the cure? School starts in half an hour. Half an hour? I think that might be cutting it a bit close, kiddo. <laughs> Come on, Your Highness, it's nothing serious. Ugh, always making such a fuss. You liked my hat, but don't you just love my dress? Uh, it really is... Uh, ridiculous! You must be out of your mind to buy such a hideous dress! <laughs> <laughs> Your elixir is almost ready. Any special taste you want? Anything but strawberry. You're saying you didn't feel like doing your homework and you watch TV instead? What has gotten into you, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> Zero for history and conduct. And stop acting the clown. It's terrible. It changes every two minutes. <laughs> it goes without saying that I'm redrafting the terms of my contract with Tom. <laughs> He's going to hit a thing or two for me. Oops. Body, it's the truth. <laughs> well, at least you didn't bite your ear off. Yeah, that's really great. Well, the best thing about today is that it's over and I don't have to. Ambrosia! Ferocia Ferrickson, you are under arrest. <gasps> Did you hear that, darling? Just like.
Eric on TV? This was on the sidewalk. Your membership card to the Horror Film Festival. Where were you last night between 9 and 10 o'clock? Knitting. Can anyone back this alibi? Nothing to add, Tom? You're usually very prompt to defend your aunt. Aunt Ferocia went out at 10 past 9 last night, and I saw her come home at 10. There was paint on her hands and on her dress. So there! Uh, huh? Well done, Tom. You had the courage to do your duty. You should be proud of yourself. Take her away! Oh, yes! You can be proud of yourself! Uh, I couldn't help it, Ferocia. Oh, traitorous godson! Never speak to me again! I gave my life's blood, my life's energy, to teach him to tread the path of evil! And he stabs me in the back! Tom has to come to the station to sign a statement with you as a parent. I didn't do it! You're lucky I'm not 20 years younger, Donnelly! I'd have changed you into a stinking cockroach! Lock her up in the cell! And make her stop yelling! Uh, you should be tolerant, officer. My aunt can't help acting like a witch. That's what she is! Well, don't pay any attention to him. His mother read him too many fairy tales. <laughs> Huh? I didn't see this note. Always try the cure-all remedy before attempting to mix your own. What cure-all remedy? Cure-all remedy? How did I miss that? You mean Tom and His Highness went through all those transformations for nothing? Oh, please, Your <laughs> Highness. Don't look at me like that. Where's your sense of humor? <laughs> Go on now. Tell us a lie. I am very ugly. Uh, why not try a really big lie? Uh, just to be sure. Mm. I am an unbearable, puffed up little toad. Will that do? Your manners and breeding are impeccable! Not sure! Get going, Uncle G. And don't get lost on the web! Because of me, my aunt is going to go to jail? It'll do her good, son. Excuse me, just for a moment. <laughs> just in time! Uncle G, you're the best! Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. But if you could just imagine the number of screens I tried before I came to the right one. What we need now is a great big lie to save Aunt Ferocia. Okay, what have they got against her? Uh, your statement? Ferocious membership card with her photo, her scandalous reputation, not to mention her awful attitude, which won't go down well with the jury. Well, I guess that's a lot. But if I get busy, I can... <laughs> Officer! 
Sir, I've been thinking this over, and I can't help doubting Ferocious' responsibility. Let us consider, perhaps, that... Don't waste your breath, Tom. I have two signed confessions. Graffiti artist did this. Your aunt is innocent. Really? Once again, please forgive me for this appalling mistake. Well, that's no problem, officer. But Ferocia might not be too willing to forgive. You know she has quite a temper. Uh, send me three more men. It's reinforcement. Yeah, riot gear. <laughs> you should have seen Donnelly's face when he made his apology. <laughs> and thanks to that fool, I met some really nice people in the cell. Are you still angry with me for turning you in? Ah, uh, I'll forgive you for exceptional circumstances. <laughs> After all, we can't choose our mothers or our fathers. Ferocia, we don't always see eye to eye, but I'm really sorry I doubted your innocence. That's that's wrong. Innocence, schminnocence. No need to exaggerate. What do you mean? Oh, no! All out of ammo! Oh. Who do you think you're gonna impress with those girly scribbles? What? Why not start with that wall over there? You gotta think big, for devil's sake! <laughs> I really like those kids. No problem, Tom. Well, see you guys. Bye. Oops, this ain't the right way. I found a suspicious looking liquid here. What is happening to you, lad? You're covered in bizarre spots. Well, maybe you're allergic to pollution. You better see a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> 